Now let's create two more properties for our text box. We will allow the user to select whether the text box will accept decimal point. And we will also allow the user to select whether the text box accepts negative numbers. So we are going to create two more properties. They are called them has decimal and has negative. And there's gonna be a Boolean properties returning true or false depending on whether the user selected to allow decimal or not. And this can be simple auto properties. So it's gonna be public property that returns Boolean and I'll call it has decimal. With simple get and set. And the second one will be for the negative numbers. So again, it will return a Boolean and I'll call it has negative. And again, just an auto property with gets and set. And here in the constructor, I'm going to set has decimal by default to be true and has negative by default to be false. So has decimal will equal to true and has negative will equal to false. Now we could leave the form here again and see how this works, but it actually wouldn't show any change at all. That's because we aren't actually doing anything with these two new properties yet. We simply decided that we will have these properties and set some values to it by default. But we will use these properties in our code when we limit the acceptable keystrokes. Because remember, the point of this text box is to only accept numbers. So the only acceptable keystrokes will be numbers. And of course, a decimal if allowed, and the minus sign if the negative is allowed as well. Now currently, these two properties won't even actually be shown in the properties for our control. And it's because we need to assign a category to it. You know what, let me just bring the form back. So I'm going to add a form. So it's going to be just a Windows form and click add. I'll go to toolbox and drop the numeric text box there. And when I right click it and go to properties, you can see here we have all these categories. We have accessibility, appearance, fonts, lines, behavior, and so forth. So we have to add these two properties to one of these categories. So when I go back to my code to add these to a category, before we declare the actual property, we are going to specify in brackets that the category we want is in our case, behavior, but you could choose any of the categories you want. But this is a behavior of the text box, so it fits it nicely. So our has decimal will be in behavior. I'm going to copy this and paste it right here. And so will our has negative. But let's actually see the text box in action. I'm going to start another project and this is going to be just a quick test. So I'm going to create a new project for Windows Forms applications. I don't even have to name it anything, I'll just create it. And I'm going to bring in the new text box here. So I'll go to Tools and choose Toolbox Items and I'm going to browse for the text box. So just browse to the numeric text box DLL, which in my case is in the original project that I created it with, but you can put it in any folder you want. In fact, it makes sense if you create a bunch of uh, custom objects that you would put them in a specific folder. But in this case, I have it in my project there, so I'm gonna select it and add it to this project. It's checked, so I'll click OK. Now when I go to toolbox in the general, we have the numeric text box. So I'm going to put it here, but I'm going to go back to my original project because I need to build it. So let's build the solution. Now let's go back to my form here and I'm going to right click the text box, click properties, go to behavior. And here we have has decimal and has negative property. 
and we can change it to false or true. Now currently, if you change it to anything, it won't matter because it doesn't gonna do anything for us because we did not actually code any functionality for these two booleans. But I just wanted to show you how to add the properties to one of the categories of the text box.